Hey, um, so recently, um, I got a comment on one of my videos that, um, when they, w w when the viewer plugs in their iPod, imports a song, and then plays it, it skips. So, this has happened to me before, and I have found a way to fix it, or at least this way, you should be good to go. So, obviously, the first thing we need to do is, uh, we need to plug in our iPod. And then we open up iTunes, if it doesn't open up automatically. There it is. Um, then, the iPod should pop up um, right here. Okay. There it is. Uh, we open it up and see music. Okay, so here we have our music. And let's say we have a song that doesn't play properly. So what we need to do is we need to remove the song. Like we just look it up. There it is. Oops. Um, there we go. We just look it up. We what I've clicked. We remove it from the library. And then, when we have our mp3 file over here, um, we need to open this side up, which I have found. There are many others like it, but um, I just found this one to be uh, working. Now we go to our files, we go to the song, we open, we, hold on, um, like we upload it. We make it the best possible, you know, quality, because after all, we're listening to it on an iPod, you know, we need to be original, unchanged, 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 everything needs to be the same. And then it's just start, and now, when it's processed it, we just download it. Then we open the downloads folder. There it is. It says MP4A right now. And just put it in. We edit song info. I type in Billy Joel. And that's it. Now to test if it really works. And now, when the song has been uploaded and we have ejected the iPod, that's important. We just go to songs, and we just scroll down till we see our song. And there it is. It's right there. And now let's see if it'll play. See? It starts playing. I haven't plugged in my headphones, but you should be able to hear it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And I hope this uh, video has helped you with, with your trouble with your M4A files.